Hello, welcome to C Sharp version 7 feature tutorial Binary Literals brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Arish. So, in this session, we are going to learn about the binary literal C Sharp version 7 feature. So, first let us understand what is list literal. Before that, let me make you understand what is constant. Constant it refers to a fixed values that the program cannot alter during its execution, and these fixed values can also be called as literals. And this literals can be of or constants, it can be of any basic data types, like it can be an integer constant or a floating point constant, character constant, or a string literal. And these literals are treated just like a regular variables, except that their values cannot be modified after their declaration. I repeat, constants are treated just like the regular variables, except their values cannot be modified okay, after their declaration. That is the advantage of using these literals. Okay? If I store some value to it, it's fixed. We can't alter it in any part of our program. So this is what I meant literal is. Now let us understand what is binary literal. So before that, let me show you some of the examples for character literal, string literal, integer, floating point, hexadecimal and character constants. Here are some of the examples like character literal, string literal, integer literal, a double literal, float literal, decimal literal and hexa, des, hexa, hexadecimal literals. This is what we know about. This is what we know about the literals. Okay. Right now, what is binary literal? So since we are making use of the character literal, string literal, so in C-sharp version, okay, C-sharp version, it gives us the ability to work with the binary literal. So if I need to represent a number in the binary literal format, how can I do that? I can do that with the help of this binary literal. So here you can observe very clearly in this example, here I'm having taken a var keyword, okay, and uh, I'm having a variable value zero. To that I'm storing the binary literal format number. So zero B zero, it represents okay uh, the binary format of a binary literal format of a number okay now we are not telling the type of it so what is the data type of this binary format binary literal format so that we are going to learn in the next in the next slide so right now let me show you like how to work with the binary literals so let me jump into visual studio here comes that so let me create a variable var and let me take a variable as value 0 and 0 b and it's 1 or let me go with 0 itself so now again var value 1 is equal to 0 b 1 so if you want to represent a number in the binary little format you have to add this suffix 0 b okay now let me copy and paste this multiple times so let me change the variable's name it's 2 and it's 3 now it's 1 1 and it's 1 0 so or let me make it as 1 0 and it's 1 1 so now let me print this variables let me see what is the output we are going to get so it's value 0 so let me print it four times so that I have four variables so let me change the values present here 2 and it's 3 we do control s now i'll run this piece of code so now what we have done is we have made use of binary literal to represent a number in the form of binary literal format so this represents 0 this represents 1 and this represents 2 and this represents 3 this is the binary literal format so if you want to represent or if you want to code using the binary literal this is how you can do it you have to add this 0 and b in the front of the binary number so this is what about the binary literal is so apart from that what we have to remember is here are the key points keep in mind there are no new data type added to represent a binary value so now what I'll do is I'll check I'll check the type of this variable so now what I'll do is console dot right line okay um, let me take some variable value 0 now I'm going to get the type of it so when I do that let me check out what is the type it's going to return okay now it's returning something called system dot int 32 okay this is very interesting we have to observe this very very carefully okay but the thing is how how the compiler converts the literal the little binary literal to a c sharp int behind the scenes okay so that is that is what the type of the binary literal is behind the scenes the c sharp compiler gives the type to the binary literal value as integer that is int okay and now let me jump back to presentation so 
and we, we know that binary number is prefixed with OB that is 0B also they can be prefixed with the capital B so let me show you that also very clearly so instead of this small b I can go with the uppercase and this works still fine then I press ctrl F5 and we get the output for that also and coming back to presentation again so here comes my presentation so if we are really working with the binary values keep in mind if you are really working with the binary values like byte okay one byte consists of 8 bits and the largest might number it might take us 255 so let us check that so let me come here and let me take var value 4 is equal to 0b111 this represents this represents the maximum value its value 4 its value 4 now when I run this application so let's check what is the output is going to give it's going to give 255 but this is the maximum value what a byte can hold but now what I'll do is wantedly what I'll do is uh, var value 5 let me give some big number and now what I'll do is let me copy this let me copy this and let me print that variable too now the maximum value a binary value byte can take is 255 so now let me run this okay let me run and now we are getting this value too so what do you what do we understand from this is what do we understand from this is this sentence tells that very clearly if you are really working with the binary values like byte it should take only the maximum number is 255 but but when I tried this when I tried this okay uh, it printed this number also so what we understood from this is okay uh, it, it becomes like very clear to us uh, like we are working with something else not the binary values and what I can tell about this binary literal is binary literal is just a representation of a binary number I repeat this binary literal is just a representation of a binary number not a byte so that's the reason it can take a max it can take a number at any extent not only the byte uh, maximum value is 255 you can take about that so it's according to C sharp position 7 the binary literal it's just a representation of a binary number not a byte so in other words I can tell something like it's just it's something like an end but it is dressed up to look like a binary I repeat binary literal internally it is an end but it is dressed up to look like a binary literal so we came to know like internally it's going to take the data type as int and we can perform the addition operations on them so let me show you that also so now what I'll do is let me perform the addition operation so where let me take something called result its value 2 and its value 4 so let me print that result so the result is let us check out what is the result we are going to get when I press ctrl F5 so the result is 257 why because I'm adding this one 4 value 2 it's 1 and value 5 sorry value 4 this one 255 plus this so we are going to get the output as 255 257 sorry this one and this one we have added and we're getting the output as 257 so we can perform the addition operations on the binary literal values also that's what we understood from this session so finally I would like to thank for listening to my session and I would like to tell you to subscribe to our youtube channel like you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference refer our website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day